This is the Digital Music Trends coverage of Medium 2014, an interview with uh, Stelio Tezenis, uh, uh, Olivier de Simon and Michael Schneider from uh, Your Turn. DMT's coverage is brought to you by CI, the leading provider of digital delivery services to the independent community on ci-info.com. So hi guys, it's great to be here at Medium 2014 and uh, thanks for joining me. How's it going? Uh, very good, thanks for having us. Uh, I want to know what's been happening in the Your Turn family in the last uh, 12 months or so. So, uh, you know, first of all, let's start with the product side of things. Uh, what are the key developments uh, for the company o- over the last 12 months? So for the last 12 months, uh, it was really a busy year. So we had an iPhone application. So that was really great and a very simple way to express yourself and engage with uh, your uh, artist. And then uh, what we had, uh, we... We moved, we launched an API in June, so that was also a very important milestone in order to allow anyone to develop expression. And then uh, at the end of uh, last year and the beginning of this year, we are launching um, what we call a factory. So instead of uh, knowing HTML5, JavaScript to develop an expression, so those templates, we have now some kind of uh, wizard where with a few clicks, you can just launch a new engagement like the one we've done with Miley Cyrus or uh, Britney Spears or the others. So now anyone can, with a few clicks, just engage very easily. So this is the main milestones on the product side. That's fantastic. Uh, and so, you know, on the product side, of course, the iPhone application was the first thing that came out uh, last year. And so how have you seen users uh, adopt that uh, as part of the Eurotron experience and really make it their own? Well, I think like, Nowadays, if you are not present on uh, on mobile, it's going to be really hard to get uh, any any traction. Um, the thing that was really important for us was like actually not to be mobile, but to get something that was really cool on mobile. Because uh, and we have something that is very specific. This notion of uh, taking your turn. So we launched uh, mobile. It was like uh, early of the summer, and uh, and we got a really good re- res- response from uh, from our audience and new users. And then obviously you you start also to understand better like how your users are using your product. So we have been like really iterating super fast and and getting like more and more engagement. And and one of the things we're like very proud about is that uh, we had a very good engagement rate on uh, on mobile on uh, sorry desktop. Uh, and uh, and it was like uh, you know years of iteration to get yeah. there. And uh, after now, like I'd say six months being on mobile, we, we have the same, if not better, on mobile. And uh, that's been like, uh, that's been really awesome for us. Fantastic. And, uh, and the company, as uh, you know, Michael, you just joined your turn uh, as uh, sort of uh, their foot in the, in the States, especially when it comes to, uh, you know, artist relations and that sort of thing. So, uh, you know, how are you seeing uh, uh, the your turn service uh, develop uh, in, in the US uh, and uh, are you excited about the prospect of working with lots of uh, uh, artists and getting them to know the your turn platform certainly yeah your turn's done a really great job of already penetrating the market and having a lot of great artists you know everyone from green day to miley cyrus kendrick lamar using the product already and done some really unique and engaging campaigns and the question i've always been asked in the industry is you know how can i reach my existing fans and engage with them and also reach new fans and yeah. your turn provides an opportunity for artists to in a very creative and unique way do both of those things and on a really low budget of free and so it's a very it's a very interesting thing to walk into an office um, you know with a, a record label or a management company and show them something that is not only simple easy to use but it, it gives incredible engagement numbers and doesn't cost them a ton of time or money so it's been really, really fun so far, and the response has been incredible. It's been fun getting uh, a lot of my friends and uh, uh, contacts in the industry reaching out and excited to do campaigns. That's awesome. That's really cool. And looking at the, you know, the, the new product development, uh, Stalia was mentioning uh, this new way of creating uh, your turns uh, with just a few clicks, which essentially, uh, you know, uh, it bypasses uh, the development stage and uh, it might allow, you know, labels, agencies, uh, anybody really to create their own your turns. So uh, how, how long was that road to get there? And, you know, uh, are you excited about finally being able to present uh, these uh, partners with a product that they can work with from the get-go, essentially? Yeah, I think, you know, like as, as a vision for us, uh, your turn is, it's about taking your turn. Uh, but it's also you to ask people to take their turn. It's uh, it, and it was like the vision for us was like, it it was obviously incredibly important for us to get an API, yeah. and uh, it's incredibly important for us to develop now templates that people can use. Uh, but really, what we want 
to achieve is like that anyone can create his own, own movement within a few minutes um, and uh, and iterating doing you know all these those uh, different experiences with uh, as you said Miley Cyrus or Kendrick Lamar etc we learned a lot and also we learned a lot about what people likes to do yeah. and then it's really like the power of your call to action your challenge that gives you the result and that's like for us like really the result of uh, of those templates and we're going to deploy and offer more and more um, of uh, templates to the audience is really like uh, a, a way for people to to engage and to engage like uh, movement. Yeah. And Stelio, uh, the company had, had been targeting uh, for the most part, you know, music and fashion as two like really important verticals for you. Uh, have you got any other uh, you know, media uh, aspects uh, in mind or you know? Uh, media partners that, that you'd like to work with uh, aside from music and fashion? So today the platform is open for everyone. So for example, we have causes or even we have some uh, beginning of things in sport, for okay. example. Awesome. But today we still want to focus on music because there are, uh, the room is really big and we can do a, a, the room for innovation is really big so we can do a lot of things. And uh, something that is really interesting is the, it's really the first time where you can do some kind for the music industry, some kind of branded user-generated content, yeah. where in your feed you don't see only your star, but you see your friends uh, with the star talking to you and challenging you, and uh, it's up to you to answer and to respond and to take your turn. And uh, music is really an industry that is really interesting and very uh, active. And, uh, and there. So I think we will focus uh, still a bit there and perhaps extend to sport or other uh, environment. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, uh, Olivia, if you were to tell people about you know, two uh, campaigns or two artists that have been using your turn, that people should go and check out what they've done with it, just so that people uh, uh, you know, back home can understand uh, the power of the platform, what, what recommendations would you give if, you, if they go on, on your turn or download the app? What artists should they look at for a really good implementation of the service? I, th I think once again, like the, the most important thing is to, to get something that is authentic for your, your audience. So you have people that, uh, you know, they're going to say like, oh, I want to do stickers, etc. And get my fans uh, using stickers. And it's not necessarily matching with, with the DNA of the artist. So in general, the more it's simple and the more it fits with like basically what you are, the better you're going to have uh, results. So I'll give you like a few uh, examples. Uh, Britney Spears with the last album, Britney Jean. It's, uh, it was just a neon uh, heart and, uh, and a logo. Um, and just asking fans to do a selfie. And then we were automatically filtering, you know, the picture in black and white and get really like the, the spirit of, uh, of uh, this album. Uh, you get like over 30,000 posts within uh, uh, 24 hours. 50% uh, of those people willing to share this across the different platforms and this drives like over like uh, 12, 15 millions of impression across Facebook and Twitter. So that's just like to say that a very simple call to action, do your Britney Jean selfie, um, can drive like a lot of, uh, of uh, awareness and uh, it's basically, it was perfectly matching with what, with what she wanted. Yeah. Um, and then you can have like a bit more sophisticated uh, ideas like, uh, I don't know, uh, Miley Cyrus, for instance, or, or um, Lily Allen, where, where the idea was like more like putting yourself into the artwork of, uh, of the artist. Um, and so you had to cut out yourself, etc. cetera. And uh, just because at that momentum, uh, Miley Cyrus was like just releasing bangers and she had uh, and she's still having like a lot of attention like it's been it's been like a massive uh, traffic and, and numbers of posts also within a few hours but then like getting her to share it multiple times of uh, multiple times on uh, Facebook and Twitter you really constantly drive uh, attention around your your album and one other thing we did which which uh, was a uh, uh, we have a very good uh, answer from the industry with that is that we wanted to get the emotion of your new single or new album within the post. So now we have like, you know, your single, like a clip of your single available within the post. And that's really a great way for people to share the emotion of a track and you are inside the post. So that's, uh, that's a few examples. And 
this is like something you can do now on uh, on the factory within uh, you know just preparing your stickers before you can do this in minutes and i'm talking about less than 10. that's awesome that's awesome and uh, uh you know michael uh he was talking about uh, authenticity of the message as well and so do you think like sometimes artists still like to overcomplicate their approach to how they 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 present some of some of these uh you know ways to get to go viral well actually like the most direct form of communication might actually be uh, the simplest one right yeah, that is, a, that is a risk, and sometimes artists are, are very excited to get across a really deep and intense message, and, um, and then it gets lost. And yeah. the beauty of your turn is it, it allows you to simplify down to what are the most important pieces and what are the things that you really want your audience to take away and what you would want a new fan to leave with. And so yeah. you get the ability to do things like see the album artwork and engage with the album artwork or create you know, yourself as a part of their tour or whatever it may be. But then you also get the really really strong piece, which is the music element or the video element. And so we've already seen a lot of really unique uses of it. And some of those unique uses have resulted in really incredible engagement rates that we honestly may not have even expected too. So it's really fun to kind of see what the artist gets excited about and allow them to use your turn as a platform to share what it is that they're passionate about or what they're working on. Yeah, absolutely. That's that's fantastic, guys. And, uh, uh, you know, if people want to know more about the company, of course, it's yourturn.com, U-R-turn.com. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think that's about it. But, you know, it was a real pleasure to ca catch up with you guys again. And, uh, of course, uh, Your Turn also has a, a U.S. presence. So for any U.S. listeners that uh, want to do something on the platform, you can also get in touch with Michael, I'm sure, and uh, uh, with Olivia if you are in Europe. Uh, um, I'll be also quite a lot in the U.S., and, uh, and uh, just one thing, we just released a new page, music.yourturn.com, and it's really linking you to the factory and explaining uh, everything we talked about right now. That's perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Talio. And uh, uh, thank you so much for listening to the DMT uh, coverage of uh, Medium 2014. You can find everything on digitalmusictrends.com or on youtube.com slash digitalmusictrends.